You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we have got your two-week General Hospital spoilers that run from Monday, June 12th, all the way through Friday, June 23rd on the ABC Soap Opera. There's a whole bunch of action. There's some familiar faces back. There is some stuff that finally comes out that's been kept secret, and someone's life is on the line. All right, we have got day-by-day dated spoilers for week one and then for week two we've got some sizzling spoilers but they are undated we're going to share all that with you right now if you haven't already please reach down click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our general hospital spoilers casting news all the good stuff you need to know all right digging in monday june 12th on gh season 60 episode 189 Jordan Ashford is there for a friend who needs support, and Curtis Ashford celebrates his birthday in style. This is a very exciting thing because it's his first birthday that he's celebrating knowing he has a daughter. I just want to have a little caveat there. Yes, Curtis was named the dad, but I still have this residual worry that Selena Wu bribed them to give the results that she knew Curtis wanted. She offered to do it and he said, no, don't, but she's the kind of woman that does what she wants. So I'm not a hundred percent that Curtis is Trina's dad, although I love Curtis and I would love for that to be true. But I honestly think that there's more of a longer term story here because next week, Marcus Taggart is drunk and upset. And I believe that is the friend that needs support. Jordan is going to find him drinking and he's really down in the dumps. He handled the whole paternity test results thing very well, but then he's privately devastated and he's all boozed up and he needs his shoulder to cry on. And Jordan is that shoulder. Also on Monday, Gladys Corbin has good reason to be worried. Yeah, 80,000 reasons to worry plus interest. She is in a hole she's dug herself. She dug herself all the way to rock bottom and kept digging past it. And this is going to keep on. I am so worried. She is going to bankrupt Sasha before all is said and done because Gladys is clearly a gambling addict. Also on Monday, Drew Kane has an update for Carly Spencer. Remember, Tracy accused Drew of assaulting Ned. And of course, Ned's in a coma right now. He's got a traumatic brain injury. Lucky for Drew, there were cameras on the roof and they saw that he definitely didn't hurt Ned and in fact tried to save Ned's life by giving CPR. So Drew isn't charged and he's let go and he tells Carly what happened on Monday. I still want to know why the cops aren't arresting Tracy for lying to the police. Giving a false statement is a crime, but we know Tracy has money, power, and influence, especially at the PCPD cop shop. So I doubt she will face any issues or backlash for her lying. All right, Tuesday, June 13th on GH is episode 190, season 60. Drew has an offer for someone. We'll have to wait and see what it is. He's still working on this SEC thing. He tried to blackmail Tracy. That didn't go that well, but he still is holding that information in his hand. He can take that information about Brooklyn Quartermain working at deception on Tracy's orders. So we'll have to see if he still finds a way to leverage it. Also on Tuesday, Sonny Corinthos has a reason to grill Gladys and she either needs to steal all this money from Sasha or she has to get some info from Sonny that she can deliver to Selena that Selena might find valuable. So while Sonny is grilling her, maybe she can get some nuggets that she can take to Selena to try and buy some of her debt down. Spencer Cassidine has a present for someone on Tuesday. Everybody is hoping that it's for Trina. Maybe it's for Baby Ace. I doubt it's for Esme, but we'll see. Also on Tuesday, Ava Jerome smells an opportunity. And we know she knows how to leverage everything in her own favor. All right, Wednesday, June 14th on General Hospital, Season 60, Episode 191. Sasha Gilmore stops by to see Willow Tate. Willow seems stronger by the day, so that's a great thing if you were worried she was going to die. However, somebody else in the family is in dire straits. Midweek, the Quartermain family is completely stunned, and Olivia Falconeri has a huge decision to make, and... TJ had already said that things look bad. There's a chance that Ned might not wake 
up. So I believe Olivia's decision to make, and this is just me speculating based on the official spoiler, but I think it's something to do with Ned and his health. You know, I mean, hopefully at this point, they're not going to say, oh, you need to decide to unplug him, but you know, maybe he needs some kind of risky brain surgery. We'll wait and see. But there's definitely a Ned medical crisis midweek on General Hospital. That same day, Cody Bell needs some help from Sam McCall. He's still trying to clear his name because of what horrible Gladys Corbin did to him. Thursday, June 15th on General Hospital is season 60, episode 192. Jordan gets an opportunity that entices her, and Curtis spends some time connecting with Trina, who he believes is his bio daughter. We'll see long term if it works out that way. And Nina has to think fast on her feet when things don't go her way. Plus, Austin Gatlin Holt warns Laura Spencer about something that's kind of interesting and random. Season 60, episode 193 of General Hospital airs on Friday, June 16th. Drew and Sam talk something out. He's kind of bouncing ideas off of her. Ava is surprisingly the reasonable person in a room, and TJ talks things over with Alexis. No doubt it's about Molly's infertility and endometriosis. And Jordan gets a surprising visitor. I'm guessing that is hunky Zeke Robinson. Plus, Portia gets some advice from Liz. Going into week two, which starts on Monday, June 19th, we have got Damian Spinelli back. The Jackal has a new mission. I'm wondering if he is helping out Drew with the SEC matter, trying to hack in and figure things out. I don't know, but I'm excited to see Spinelli back. I love me some Bradford Anderson. All right. Also that same week, Christina voices her concerns. And I'm wondering if this is about Molly's health issues. I fully expect for Christina to offer to be their surrogate, but that hasn't come about yet. Also in the second week, Carly Corinthos is outraged. And you hear that spoiler and you think, oh, she's outraged because she found out that Nina reported her and Drew to the SEC. I don't know. Maybe. it Again, it feels... It feels quick to me. I personally still think it's all going to come down to Sunny and Nina's wedding because that is the best time to ruin someone who's been scheming to get back at you is to blow up their wedding. And you know Carly would love to sweep in to that wedding, march down the aisle, and just bam, drop a bombshell. Hey, if you haven't already, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our general hospital spoilers, casting news, all the good stuff. Definitely let us know what you think is happening. We also have one more undated spoiler for week one I'm going to tell you about right now, and that is Portia slamming Spencer. This is at Curtis's birthday party. She's talking to Trina. And she basically is trying to tell her daughter that she needs to not be around Spencer because he's tainted with this whole thing because he's still tied to Esme. He's going to be tied to Esme forever because of baby Ace. And she doesn't think it's a good idea. Everybody's warned Portia not to try and push her away from Spencer, not to push Trina away from Spencer, but she's not listening. She's got her brother Zeke to help her out and she's just going to push, 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 push. But out of these two weeks, the most exciting spoiler to me is that Damien Spinelli is back in Port Charles. Let us know what you think about the action coming the next two weeks and we'd love to hear your comments. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 